and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today I'm bringing you episode four of my eBay hauls and I see that you guys are enjoying this series. I'm glad that you love it because I love shopping on eBay and I love showing you guys the great deals that I find. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first item I want to show you is a brush set that I picked up and it looks like this. So it comes in this fake leather uh, brush roll. So it looks like that. It has the little clamps here so you can keep it closed if you're traveling with it and you're just going to open it up just like that. It has a little flap on here to protect your brushes and it has 24 brushes inside from face to eyes, even lips as you can see there all the beautiful brushes inside and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see these close up brushes in here. I love flat top brushes like this for foundation. Liquid foundation is really good with that. I love to contour with the fan brush. It really gets into the hollows of your cheeks and just around your face really nicely. I would use this brush here as a blush brush because you know it's just perfect for blush. So I would use that for that. This brush I would love to use under the eyes to set my concealer. Of course I love this blending brush. It's really great for the crease area. So those are the highlights in this collection that I really really do love. And the brand is Ovani. Ovani. I think that's how you say it. Ovani. <laughs> So yeah, this is 24 pieces and I got this for $36 and that's with shipping included. It didn't take a long time to get here, maybe like a week or two once I ordered it that I received it in the mail. So I'm going to go ahead and give this, hmm, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 because it's a great quality set. Anybody could use it, a beginner or a makeup artist. The quality is okay, so that's why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. And that is the brush roll. So the next thing I want to show you is something from that same brand. And this is a brush dryer. So after you wash your brushes, you would just stick it in here. So all the moisture would just, you know, drip down instead of into the bristles of your brushes. And I got this for $9. It's just acrylic and rubber on it. And you can fit big brushes and little brushes. I'm going to show you how the brushes will look inside of it. So here is a big brush. You would just stick it from underneath just like so just like that here is an eye brush you just stick it underneath like that so you would just let it hang like this after you finish washing them and they will dry perfectly so like i said i got this for nine dollars they had it in different colors but of course i love the pink so i had to go over the pink and it's just acrylic just acrylic and rubber it could have been a little cheaper so i'm gonna give it a three out of five Three out of five I think will be a good score for this. So this is the brush dryer. Next I want to show you some liquid lipsticks that I picked up and it's from iMagic. And the container looks like this and it came with 12 different colors. They're all inside of this candle holder. So they have so many different shades and I love the shade range from your plums to nudes to pinky colors. You're going to have your fill with this collection and I bought this as a set. So this cost me around $2 each and I got it in a full set so they all came together. I'm going to go ahead and swatch number 11 for you. So here is number 11. The consistency is really nice. I really like the consistency. It's a very thin liquidy consistency. It seems like it's going to dry really quickly. So here's the Delpha applicator here. It's just nice and flat like that and it has a little pointed tip so it's going to get around your lips really nicely. Here is what the container looks like and the bottom. So I really really like these liquid lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry down so you guys can see what it looks like. But so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and 
see what it smells like. They have a good smell to it. It has like a fruity smell. It doesn't smell like plastic like the other ones that I've tried from eBay. So these are really nice. I like these ones so far. That is really, really nice there. I love it. I can't wait to do a lip swatch video for you guys. So like I said, if you want to see a lip swatch on these liquid lipsticks, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get that out to you guys. Already I'm enjoying these because from the swatch I see that the formula is a really great formula, especially for the price and it doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of good. So I think these will be well worth it. I'm going to give these a four out of five. I think that's fair. A four out of five. So now I'm going to show you guys the display of the episode and today's display is going to be the nail lacquer display from MAC. So I have this filled with all the MAC polishes that I have. Well I do have like 10 more MAC polishes that didn't fit into this so I'm thinking about purchasing another one. But as you can see there it does spin around so it's double sided. It holds 16 polishes on each side. So that is, don't let me get to counting in my head, you guys. I think that's 32. 32 nail polishes. <laughs> and I paid around two to three hundred dollars for this. I can't remember, I don't have the paper on it. And also right here on the display, you can put like your fake nails and do a little swatching on there. I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing that soon. I'll probably do a whole video on that. If you guys wanna see me do the little swatch of my nail polishes on here, and see me you know add it to the display let me know in the comment section below and I will get that out to you guys and I think that would be a great way for you guys to see the nail polishes in case you want to go ahead and pick up one so I think that would be a great video let me know if you want to see it you guys this part of the video always gets a five out of five because I just love all my displays they make me happy I like looking at them all the colors and everything just well you know put together I just love it so that is the display of the day. So my dupe alert today is going to be on some concealers and it's going to be a dupe to the LA Girl concealers and these are the Navi concealers. Looks like that. I got 24 of these and I paid $39, almost $40 for them. So there were a little bit over a dollar each. And what I like about this brand is that it has the color correcting shades with it also. It has four or five color correcting shades. I just love the whole selection of colors that they have. You would definitely find your color. If not, you can mix them to make your color. They look like they're gonna be exact dupes for the LA Girl. So we're gonna go ahead and test these out right quick. Let me go ahead and show you guys the LA Girl ones compared to these ones. So I'm just going to grab a few of them because I don't need to grab all of them. I do have like the whole collection. So I just wanted to show you guys a few of them in comparison. So these are the LA Girls. I'm going to show you compared to each other the sizing and all that. So here we have the LA Girl Concealer and we have the Nabby Concealer. As you can see here, the Nabby Concealer looks much bigger. Not too much, but it's definitely bigger. And let's see the ounces inside. It says the Nabby has 0.28 ounces and the LA Girl Concealer has 0.25 ounces inside. And you can see the packaging is almost dead on. It's just the Nabby is a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the formula. So here they are open. The tips look identical, you can see there. It's just a little bit of a difference, but the brushes on them looks dead on. Let's go ahead and swatch them. So here is the Nabby one. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and there it is. Pigmentation wise, it looks like it's gonna be medium coverage and you can build up on it. And that is in color Pure Beige 08. Now I'm gonna show you guys the LA Girl Pro Concealer one and this is in uh, Creamy Beige. So I'm gonna put that right next to it. Okay, so that one came out a little bit better. So the consistency on the LA Girl one is definitely full coverage. Definitely more pigmented as you can see there. So yeah, there is definitely a difference in the formula. 
So out of the two, the LA Girl does win over the Nabby concealers, but you know, if you wanna save a buck or two, go ahead and go with the Nabby. So like I always said, you're gonna get what you pay for. LA Girl is definitely much more pigmented. The formula is thicker. Nabby is a little bit more of a, I guess more of a liquidy consistency and it's gonna be from a light to medium coverage. So if you don't like to go with full coverage, go ahead and go with the Nabby. That's gonna give you a light to medium coverage. So here are the color correctors in the collection. We have lavender, we have vanilla, green, brick, and white. So you can go ahead and mix this in with the other colors or you can just mix this in under your eyes or wherever you're trying to do some color correcting. So let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see me use this in a makeup tutorial and do a full review, a whole day's a full review on it so we can see if it creases, you know, all that good stuff about them. So I'm going to give this a three out of five. I'm going to give them a three out of five because I wish they were more pigmented than they are, you know. <laughs> So that's why I'm gonna give it a three out of five. So that is about it for this video. Let me know what your favorite item was in this episode. Also, let me know what items you want me to try out if you've seen something on eBay that you want me to review. So thanks for sticking around and watching my eBay finds part four. And I hope to see you next week for part five. I have some really great deals in that video coming up and I know you guys will enjoy it. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're loving this series and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my upcoming eBay hauls. Follow me on my social media networks that will be over here. Make sure you catch up on the rest of my eBay hauls. I will leave the card up here so you can check that out. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.